Hey, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl R.S. Lewis, aka Insomniac Rider, and today I have a trailer reaction for you. I'm looking at Disney's uh, Disney Plus's Secret Invasion. It looked good. I got a clip of it. I did see the teaser, a bit of the teaser, and I was like, I wonder if it's a full trailer. And I'm like, how the hell did I miss this? So here we go. been gone. Things have gotten much worse. How do you think I came back? You're in no shape for this fight that lies before us, old friend. This is personal. Very few of us know about the wars fought in the shadows that have raged on this planet. Do you feel responsible? Where are the Avengers? This war is one I have to fight. Alone. Wanted man on the planet. You don't know what they have planned for you. The Great Neck Fury. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, so that was Secret Invasion. Holy smackerel. Holy shitballs. Excuse my language, because it's Disney, so I don't know who the algorithm share is sharing this video to. <laughs> but, yo, I'm ready for this. First of all, ever since I saw Samuel L. Jackson play Nick Fury, ever since he got casted to the role, I've been kind of wanting his standalone film. Captain America, Winter Soldier is probably one of the best MCU movies out there next to Iron Man. Those are my top, those, those are my top two. I have a list of other movies, Winter Soldier, Civil War, and, and Iron Man, the first Iron Man, not the, not, not, not the ones after that, but the, the first Iron Man that started it all and the, the second and third Captain America movies. Those are my top three. Then there's like a list after that. But anyway, the point, let's get back to this. Like, I think it's picking up where we left off where he died in those ones. Like, you know, he faked his death. Now, I don't know if y'all watched Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. That kind of tied into Captain America as well. And it'd be like, it gave us a little bit more context of how Hydra was infiltrating uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. So, yeah, that was decent how they did that. And they kind of put that in there and it's like networking and it's like, oh, damn, y'all is just... Dirty. <laughs> I really followed a lot of the, the MCU and Marvel stuff going on, like, in the show. And I liked Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I liked Peggy Carter, too. I was so sad when they let that show go. And I was like, damn, you sons of... Yeah. Let's talk about this cast. Of course, we got Samuel L. Jackson. I love when he yells at somebody on screen. <laughs> Kobe Smulders is coming back. Maria Hill. She's just, like, uh, right-hand man number two. Rhodes is coming in here. We saw a clip of him. Everett, uh, Agent Ross from from the uh, Black Panther movies, he's going to be in here. Sonya Fallsworth is in here. So if she's playing Olivia Coleman. I'm looking at IMDb, excuse me. Now, I recognize her. I don't know if you saw Hot Fuzz, but she was in that. She was the one lady officer. And 
<laughs> Her laugh was just infectious. It's a great movie, by the way. Uh, Amelia Clark is going to be in here. Oh, shucks. Ben Mendelsohn. We got some We got some great cast lining up in this, this, this roster here. Noel Fisher. You know him from Shameless. Christopher McDonald. Charlene Woodard. Dermot Mulroney. So we got a lot of f familiar faces that are have been in other things in the MCU. Julia Lewis Dreyfus. We already know she was. She's been behind the scenes in a lot. She was behind the scenes in the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and then the uh, last Black Panther movie. So this is going to be a summer thing for me to watch on Disney Plus. Your subscription lasts another month again. <laughs> Well, because every time I'm about to cancel this damn streaming service, they come up with something that piques my attention, and I'm like, oh, oh, well played, Disney. Well played. You haven't really seen much of the scroll. I know that they were supposed to be in another, I believe, uh, Marvel franchise, but I guess they saved it for Captain Marvel, which, okay, whatever. I'm not mad at it. They, they're apparently they're the bad guys. So there's like, not all of them, just this rural group of them and Kingsley Ben Arrera, he's going to be playing the the lead one. He's so funny. He's cute little, little young. So he's going to be, I, I didn't get wind of him until it was something else he played in. And then when I watched the Barbie trailer, I was like, oh, it seems more grounded in realism. I mean, obviously you got aliens and super high tech weaponry and things of that nature, but it's still more dark and tone gritty because that's what i kind of wanted out of captain and the winter soldier like that that tackled some serious themes but it didn't feel serious all the time it, it felt like a buddy comedy more than that than than what we got from winter soldier and civil war so we're looking at the aftermath of shield ever since hydra went in there and messed stuff up and i don't know how what they're going to you know do with the characters but i'm just happy to see nick Nick Fury. I'm just happy to see Samuel L. Jackson. And I don't care what anybody says when they get mad, when they change the characters. Samuel L. Jackson is just going to be Nick Fury for me. And I think if you look at most of the comic books that are probably have come out, look like they, they model after him. So, like, I, I've seen other actors play him. When you say Nick Fury, first person pops in here is Samuel L. Jackson. It's not anybody else. I, 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 I know who played him and uh, played the role live action. Um, sometimes, like, the video game version comes through. I think, uh, what was that? Marvel ultimate something I, I that was like one of the first games i think i played when i got my xbox 360 anyway what did y'all think about secret invasion did you like it did you love it did you hate it are you going to watch it are you going to be like me and renew or keep your disney plus streaming service because i was ready to save some money in my pocket and every time i want to y'all come with the it's like damn it i just y'all getting on my nerves like at this point i'm <laughs> I'm glad I ain't got cable because I couldn't afford it anyway. So anyway, leave your comments down below because where else are you going to leave them? And be sure to like, subscribe, hit that little bell to be notified. It helps me. It helps the algorithm, you know, keeps me afloat. I'm not one of the big YouTubers out there. I just like enjoying the content and showing it to my friends and my family. So yeah, but I'm gaining new friends and family. And for those of you that are here, welcome. I hope you like what you're seeing so far. And uh, if you have any suggestions for any uh, trailers you want me to review, video games, movies, shows, otherwise, leave them down below or shoot me a message via my social media, at Insomniac Writer. Don't forget to underscore if it's on Insta. And, uh, yeah, that's it. We out. Oh, yeah, be awesome, be you, but above all else, love yourself. Because I always got to say that. Because you got to love yourself, right? If you don't love you, who going to do it for you? And if you got a secret invasion, you better get Nick Fury. Because if you ain't got Nick Fury, who you got? Exactly. Because where are the Avengers? <laughs> they ain't nowhere to be found. When there's something going on in one instance, they're like, well, where are the Avengers? Because <laughs> you got to address it. It's the shared universe. It's like one of them situations where if I could call a big baddie to help me out with my baddie, I could call another one of the Avengers to help me out, then I would. But with that being said, they addressed it very well. I think in the Eternals, Thor is doing his thing and uh, Iron Man rests in peace. And then everyone else is doing, you know, Black Panther, obviously, they, you know, the character 
Pat, they they killed off the character because the actor passed away. And I, I think it's cool. It's, it's, it doesn't hurt. I mean, it's not like they. It's not a mantle that, but somebody he somebody was Black Panther before T'Challa was. So therefore, someone's going to be Black Panther after him. I, and it's sad that we lost Chadwick Boseman. I don't want to get to rambling because that's what I do. I think I might have a watch party one day. I think I'm gonna do that. That sounds like a good idea. Not it is, but something. Anyway, I'm out of here, guys. Take care.